Hey guys, Richard with Fiction Auto Channel and Reefs.com and we're actually here in St. Port Lucie? Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie. I always get that mixed up. But we're here because I was actually a review on GHL product. But to be honest with you, I have no idea and what to expect and how to set this up. So I got together with my buddy Chris Patelli of the fish store and he has been a rep for GHL for a long time. Can you tell me a little bit more about what your connection with GHL? Sure. I've been working with GHL for a number of years since I think the first Macna. We set up their booth and, and done displays with them and for them since Orlando Macna. Or, or, uh, Orlando or Fort Lauderdale Macna. Yeah, the Western Diplomat. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Right, right. That was like that was the, the year that actually I got I got into hobby as a as a whole official model thing, you know. Yeah. And I've been around, like seeing you and you know around the show for yeah. so long. I thought you know I was told that you are the guy in this in the state side that does handles all the GHL. Right. Um, for a long time, I was. I was the Southern rep for a while. Um, GHL didn't have a, a hub here in Florida or actually in the U.S., so it was difficult to get product in and out. So I had a my shop was a hub for GHL product for a while. Yeah. Um, this way, I would help the U.S. customers um, with support and anything they needed um, versus it having being shipped back to Germany. Gotcha. Now tell me a little bit about GHL. What made you pick up on this product in particular? I had a, a calcium reactor failure, so I wanted to get a doser that was very accurate. So I, I, I stepped into their dosing product and that's how I became linked up with GHL. Gotcha. And is this company relatively new or how long have they been around? No, GHL has been around for a long time. and. Um, the reason why I went with their doser is because it, it's very, very accurate, a little bit more precise equipment. Even the newer dosers they have now are very, very accurate, even with their more stepper motors that they have. And looking for something that's very precise and intricate, and that's where GHL comes into play. Gotcha, gotcha. And then what do we have here right now? So right now, this is the whole KH standalone kit, where it comes with the KH detector and your doser. So this is, a, well, I see that it comes with a doser, and this, you said that it's a standalone, so this one you don't need the whole, I guess, the, the P4 ecosystem, right? No, no, there's no, um, there's no P4 controller required uh, mm -hmm. for this unit. This unit is a standalone, and it works together with this KH detector, and the doser works as one unit. Gotcha, all right, let's get into this. Hey guys, so we just unboxed everything. We have our main unit, our doser, tubing, uh, alkalinity probe and reagents. Um, one of the important things is before you even set this up is realize position and how you're gonna install this into the aquarium. So you can either mount them side by side and or one on top of the other. Figuring out this mounting is gonna be best to do this beforehand. This way, when you cut the tubing, the tubing is cut in the correct lengths. So when you go to mount the product later, everything's all laid out previous and, and installs easily for you. I wanted to talk about some key features that, that this is gonna do for us. Um, the first thing is testing. When this unit's drawing water and testing, having a little bit of water drawn from the system is great. So this is actual 100 mils. This is the amount of water that the system's gonna draw and test every single time. And it might not seem a big deal, but for a smaller tank for nanocubes, it is a lot. So um, especially over time, this is gonna be a big deal, having just a little bit of water drawn from your tank at each time, 100 mils. Okay, Chris, so now let's get into the accuracy. We all know that the accuracy and consistency in any kind of test is very, very important. Tell me a little bit about this machine uh, regarding those two things. So the, the accuracy and the consistency of this unit is, is very, very precise. We're only dealing with 0.1 of deviance from our DKH. So it's, it's very important that we have a consistent rate and that it's very, very precise. This auto tester uses reagents for its testing. It has two sizes, a 500 and a 1,000 milliliter. The 500 milliliter will do a three months test at two times a day. With this unit, you can, met, you can test as many times as you want per day, from one all the way up to 28 times, depending on your usage. Because this pH probe is, is calculating an algorithm for your DKH, it's very important that you're calibrating this at least one to every three months. Just a pro tip on um, when you're hooking up your unit, pay attention to the first two dosers. They're exactly the same on how they're routed. 
but the third one is your drain. So this is actually routed differently. So make sure you pay attention to how the actual hoses are, are routed from the unit to, to the detector. So one of the key features of the GHL unit is you don't need a PC anymore to program your unit. A while ago, you had to have your PC and it was a little bit more involved to get everything going. Now, GHL has their app, GHL Connect. So you can program pretty much everything for this unit by using their app without no PC. While you're putting these on, this is very important that you're getting these um, lengths of tubing exactly the same. Um, for testing purposes, you wanna make sure that all the reagent tubes are the same. This is 6.7 inches. So we just take our tape, make our tubing. This way, when we hook them up, they're all coinciding in the same length. So we get the same test every time. see setting up this GHL controller um, was fairly easy. We were able to do it with no PC at all, just using the GHL control app. Very simple setup. If you are in the market for an auto tester, uh, GHL is a brand that's gonna give you precision accuracy uh, in doing so. My name's Chris. We are here in South Florida. I have an aquarium store called The Fish Store. You can see us on Facebook, Instagram. We're here to help.